Hi, good evening to you both. Well, we'll start tonight with an update from city leaders who tell us that the two toddlers pulled from this water here at Dawson Ave Beach over the weekend have been taken off intubation and are making progress in their recovery. This all as their father is accused of trying to drown them. And these were extremely serious allegations. 41 year old Rami. At least he hanging his head, man. I say this, man. The bar is in hell. At least he hanging his head, man. Nine, 99 times out of 100, he'll be in there like this. Head up, shoulders back, proud as a motherfucker. At least this son man's hanging his head in shame, man. We starting to make progress, man. Maybe, maybe we are making progress, man. <laughs> he... He ain't in here laughing or smiling and shit. The bar is in hell, man. Who's of trying to drown them? And these were extremely serious allegations. 41 year old Romney Disronville fighting back tears with his head down as he stands in front of a Milford judge. It's hard to find words to describe the allegations here. The New York man is accused of attempting to drown his two toddlers at Dawson Ave Beach in West Haven early Saturday morning. But when two officers on patrol saw an SUV parked in the sand, they stepped in. One officer saw. Two officers saw an SUV parked in the stand, sand. Now, here's the thing. They'll call that harassment. Had this, say this son man wasn't trying to kill his kids and he was just parked in the sand. And the police would have came over there and been like, hey, sir, uh, everything all right over here? Man, y'all harassing me, man. I'm just sitting here trying to catch some sun. You're harassing me, man. If I was white, y'all wouldn't have came over here and said nothing. But that's good police work. They see something out of place. They see something odd, something that doesn't look quite right, and they go investigate it. And in this case, their investigation led them to be able to save two little black goddamn two little pickaninnies. Because if that's the father, imagine what they look like. They're two little pickaninnies. That's the type of police in the black community needs. The black community needs that type of policing. Nosy. Inquisitive. Observant police officers. We require that. We're, we're proto-humans. We require that. Stop and frisk. Broken windows. We require that. Press one. Hit the like button. Shout out to Eric S. Oc Nation Hall of Fame. Coming through once again. Brown, his two toddlers at Dawson Ave Beach in West Haven early Saturday morning. But when two officers on patrol saw an SUV parked in the sand, they stepped in. One officer saw the vehicle, radioed to another to come to, you know, check it out with him. And then they both, when they got there, heard the uh, um, screams from the, the water. Court documents describe the actions of West Haven officers Williamson and Miller, who jumped into the after first thinking Disronville and his twins were being pulled away by the tide. Then as they got closer, police say officers heard Disronville yelling at them to get back, realizing he was attempting to drown the two young children. Within minutes, they pulled the kids to shore. Those children had two guardian angels that night, and it was Officer Williamson and Officer Miller. Mayor Dorinda Bor Two officers, man. Where's the black community? Throwing a fucking parade for these two officers. Where's the black community throwing a parade for these officers? 
where's the black community doing a fucking press conference like hey uh officer miller and what's his name let me let me show you the name his children had two guardian angels that night and it was officer williamson and officer miller Mayor Dr for officer williamson and officer miller where's the black community showing thanks Where's the group? Where's the goddamn leader, black leader that 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 talks about this shit? These officers are saints, man. They saved those two little black pickaninnies from from a sure death, man, a brutal death, drowning in salt water. Save those little pickaninnies, man. Shout out to Officer Williamson and Miller to drown the two young children. Within minutes, they pulled the kids to shore. Those children had two guardian angels that night, and it was Officer Williamson and Officer Miller. Mayor Dorinda Bora visited the mother of the twins in the hospital, who rushed there from New York overnight. I went there just to let her know that even though she's far from home, that as a community, we really care. We're here, from her, we're here for her. Bora says as the twins get critical care, the community has been calling nonstop, looking for ways to help. Every day they start to make a little progress and there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of hope that um, the recovery will be well. All as the officers who witnessed it all take some time to process what could have happened if they weren't there. It is those officers jumped into the ocean in full uniform and save those kids. They could have drowned and their families could be mourning. Those officers could have drowned. Their families could be mourning today. Two officers drowned trying to save two little pickaninnies who were being drowned by their simian sapien father And in other news, blah, 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 blah. Been calling nonstop, looking for ways to help. Every day they start to make a little progress and there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of hope that um, the recovery will be well. All as the officers who witnessed it all take some time to process what could have happened if they weren't there. It is something that uh, is unimaginable and for my officers to have to have dealt with that twofold uh, is something that I will never forget. The prosecutors say Disronville has no criminal record and no ties to this area. The judge granted a mental health evaluation for him as she set his bond at $2 million. He is expected back in court next week. Of course, we'll keep you updated as this all develops. We're live here in West Haven tonight. Julia Lep have now been filed against a suspect that was arrested in connection with a deadly triple stabbing in the East Village. Fox News' Arthur Chan joins us live from the scene near East 14th Street and Avenue A. And Arthur, you just got some exclusive...